This video is a series of 5 videos in which we will compute the performance of a 24 slot 8 pole spoke motor using the transient magnetic solver of Eamorx 2D. In this part we will learn how to perform the no load cogging torque analysis using the transient magnetic solver of Eamorx 2D for SOLIDWORKS software. We will start by defining the motor local coordinate system in SOLIDWORKS. To perform the no load cogging torque analysis using Eamorx 2D, we should first check that Eamorx 2D is checked in the SOLIDWORKS add-ins. Now we are ready to go. Let us first click on Eamorx 2D Manager to open the Eamorx 2D interface. Right click on spoke and select the auto air component to automatically create an air region englobing the spoke model. In the solution type, make sure that planner XY is checked and select the previously created coordinate system. In the auto air type, check circle to define a circular shape for the air region, then click on OK. Right click on spoke and this time select study to create a new study in Eamorx 2D. Name the study as Cogging Torque. In the analysis type, select Transient Magnetic. In the time duration, the start time is 0 second. Change the end time to 0 0.03 seconds and the step time to 0 0.001 seconds. The time step in the Transient Magnetic Solver defines the results resolution and to get more accurate results smaller time steps should be defined. In the coupling analysis check rotational motion. The spoke rotor will be running at constant speed and thus we will keep the constant velocity option in the motion settings and set its value to 500 degree per second. The initial angle is kept at 0 degree motion coupling, the rotation angle is automatically selected from SOLIDWORKS design. To view how to define the rotor angle, please do not hesitate to view the second part of the spoke motor video series. In the moving components tab, select the rotor subassembly from the spoke model tree. In the band component, select the band part from the spoke model tree. In the 2D geometry, select the coordinate system from SOLIDWORKS 3 in the Planner XY solution type. Define the model length as 50 mm and select OK in order to create the study. Right click on the air circle, the band and also the shaft. Then apply air from favorite materials. Right click on the north and south PMs and select apply material. The Material Browser tab opens. Define the Neodymium 4212 material from the Neodymium Magnetic folder and the Permanent Magnets material folder and then select Apply and Close. Right click on the Rotor Core and the Stator Core, then select Apply Material. Click on the Nonlinear Magnetic Materials Right click on Easy 1010 Steel Material and select Copy. To edit the material, we will paste it in the Tutorial Materials folder. Click on Edit and change the lamination properties to Lamination Plane. Set the stacking factor as 0.97 and select OK. Then Save the material and click on Apply and Close. Right click on the coils and select Apply Material. Choose Copper from the Conductor Materials folder, then select Apply and Close. 
The PM's coercivity direction is defined through local coordinate systems giving the rectangular shape. Two diametral opposite magnets can be defined by the same coordinate system. To view how to create the local coordinate systems in SOLIDWORKS, please do not hesitate to check the second part of the Spoke Motor video series. Right click on the fourth north magnet and choose coercivity direction. Select the corresponding local coordinate system. You can also check show preview in order to visualize the magnet coercivity direction and the change the symbol size to 500%. Then edit its color to red for a north magnet. Change the Cartesian direction to Y and click on OK. In the same way, define the local coordinate systems for the other remaining magnets. Now, you can hide the PM's coercivity symbols. Right click on Load Restraint and select Magnetic Vector Potential. In the Select Entities tab, select the edge of the outer air region, then click on OK. Right click on Forces Torque and select Virtual Work. Name it as Cogging Torque and check Compute Torque in the Force Torque settings. Then, select the rotor core, the shaft, and the PMs. Under the Mesh folder, right-click on the Mesh Control and select Apply Mesh Control. Name the Mesh Control as Mesh Coils and select all the coils. Then, set the Control Parameter value as 1 mm.
In the same way, create the mesh control for the PMs, the band edge and also the shaft. Once done, right click on the mesh folder and select create mesh. Open the options section and check accurate curvature representation to accurately represent the curvature of the model parts by the mesh. Then select OK. Right click on the Cogging Torque Study and click on Run. The study is now solved. We can check the simulation results. To view the Cogging Torque versus Time, right click on the results table and select Show. Click on the Torque tab, select the Figuring Torque value and click on Add. You can select Plot Preview to plot a preview of the Cogging Torque versus Time Curve and Pop Up Plot to change the plot properties. To plot the cogging torque versus the rotor angle, right click on plots, select 2D plot, advanced, then linear. In the X axis, select the angle in quantity. In the Y axis, the quantity is torque. Click on add. You can name the plot as torque and then select OK. The cogging torque versus the rotor angle is plotted. You can also edit the plot properties. To plot the magnetic field, open the magnetic flux density folder and select edit definition. Change the plot type to discrete, then select the time step for which you want to plot the magnetic flux density. By checking plot all time steps, you can plot the magnetic flux density for all study time steps. Now, as we have reached the end of this part, well done, and see you in the next part.